Is that a Supra? Yeah, it's a fucking Supra. You got it. Mark IV in the house. Boot to bonnet. So we're doing it on this car, owned by Toronto Buffing. Mark IV Supra 2JZ, bro. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's check out the boot. The very iconic Supra taillights. And this car's got the Bomex body kit. It's got the wing with the beautiful carbon fiber accent there. And probably the most iconic set of taillights ever. It's got the beautiful badging and all done to accent the bodywork. It's got a vibrant exhaust system on there. It sounds terrific, thanks to JC power plant moving along we have some wheels by work which depending on your age and what generation you're from and when you started working on cars you'll either like these or hate them but personally this is period correct this was the styling at this time and I feel like it suits the car a lot and tell us how you feel drop it in the comments and See what you say, yay or nay, and make sure you support your answer, okay? Because I think these are pretty fly. Stickers, worth at least 10 wheel horsepower, this one. And this one's worth at least 10. Toronto buffing, if you need your car detailed, paint corrected, PPF, this guy's definitely one of the best in the game. Like I, We've had him work on quite a few of our cars, and the results speak for themselves. Amazing work. Amazing work, very talented individuals there. Moving up to the front, we got the iconic Supra calipers there. Nice large rotors, I think stock are about 330 mil. Wrapped in Michelin Pilot 4S's because you never, never, never chintz on your tires. You gotta have good tires always, the only thing touching the road. So make sure you invest in your rubber. Moving along to the front end, Bomex bumper, HID projector lights, and he's also got some accent lighting here, which looks pretty cool. I think maybe in the future, it might put some grills in here or close that off, but so far it's looking pretty, pretty cool. All right, now let's check out what's under the hood because I know you've been dying to see the 2JZ, baby. Sheesh. Okay, I know there's a lot going on here. So disclaimer, we did not build this car. Uh, this car came in from another shop and we just got it running and put it together It's not really the way I would have set things up, but this is the way it is So we're gonna get it working for our customer and make sure he's happy. So Let's check it out. Take it all in There's a lot of stuff going on here It is twin turbo and it's not sequential anymore and this is a VVTi motor as you can see what VVTi is, is variable cam timing. On this car, it's just on the intake side. So it, it improves the response of the engine, both on the low and top end, because you can vary the timing of the intake cam. These engines are interference motors. So you gotta watch out when you're timing these things and stuff. And that was one of the things that I initially thought was bad on it, but so far, so good. The timing's all good. Um, so I guess starting from the top, 2JZ VVT engine, it has upgraded twin turbos. I'm not sure about the specs on the turbos, but they are upgraded. Um, and it's got an interesting setup here where it has a front mount intercooler here, ample size. And it also has a, what's called an interchiller. So this system uses the AC to cool coolant, and then it circulates that chilled coolant to this intercooler here. And that, actually can get you um, intake temperatures that are lower than ambient air temperatures, which I've data logged it and seen it myself. It's, it's very interesting and it works well. Personally, I didn't dyno the car, so I don't know how that um, setup was working on the dyno, but I believe this heat exchanger might be a little bit too small, but with both of them combined, I guess it's all right. 
anyway, moving forward. So it has an ATI damper. Um, it's got like a billet timing gear on the crankshaft. It's running an ECU Master Black EMU standalone system, which is one of the things that we had to figure out to get it fired up because it, it, it wasn't working. It has a Koyo radiator. It has the inner chiller like I talked about. It also utilizes the, these vibrant HD clamps, which are awesome for giving you some articulation and holding a ton of boost. It's got a big throttle body and this massive intake manifold here which is actually a pretty nice piece. It has uh, some trumpets built into the plenum there, and it looks like it's got a good bit of flow. Um, the intake uses O-ring seals instead of the factory gasket. It has injector dynamics, uh, fuel injectors, which are you know basically industry standard in motorsports, and they are excellent. Underneath this cover, there is a R35 coil on plug conversion that we installed. And we also wired it up using a Deutsch connector there, and it goes back to the ECU. So it is running a full sequential system, not the wasted spark setup that's been done previously. For the engine bay, I think that's pretty much it. It's got some big fans and some other little details that are more or less insignificant. I'm on the right side, right? So this is the Supra cockpit. The Supra is a driver-oriented cockpit. Everything is kind of angled towards the driver. And it makes you feel very at home when you're driving this car. Everything's easy to see. Everything's within um, hand reach. And uh, everything in here is, is pretty simple. There's not too much going on. There are a couple aftermarket gauges for air fuel ratio, um, the water temp of the inner chiller system, and also a boost gauge, of course. Everything else is pretty basic and just really driver oriented. One thing I didn't mention is that this car has a Tremec six-speed transmission. So it's been changed out from, I guess, whatever was, was in here before, probably a W-series transmission. It's also got some nice leather and all the cool touches. And like I was saying before, it, it does have an ECU Master ECU in here. Don't mind all the dust from the bodywork. We've got all the wiring more or less figured out, so we'll make a plate and mount this up real nice later. Anyway, thank you guys for watching our video. A special thank you to our sponsors, Toronto Buffing, Enios, Vibrant Performance, and of course, HKS. See you next time. Ugh.